right, good afternoon everybody. Today we're having barbecued chicken and dumplings, mashed potatoes, and probably some green beans. We're gonna give it a, a try. We're gonna take it some flour. You know, I, I don't know how much I'm putting in here, depending on how much dumplings we're gonna make. I'm gonna say that's about a cup and a half, roughly, a cup and a half. It's just me and Janet. I don't need to make much, so I know this is a half stick of butter, melted down, and uh, we'll kind of mix that into that mixture a little bit, get it stirred around a little bit. Drop in a little milk. I don't know how much that is. Don't ask me. Splash more. You just want a dry ball of dough. Just a basic dry ball of dough. I'll show it to you here in just a second. This is how I make my biscuits too. See how that is? Actually it needs to be a tad wetter, I think. You just want it sticking together. You don't want it soupy or anything like that. You just want to be able to pull it apart in the dumplings. Okay? No biggie. Easy as easy. Think I'll splash this a little more. Well, yeah, crap. And Janet will be home here. Oh, 45 minutes probably. Yeah, that's better. Just want to. Dough ball, not wet and sticky. You know, it's a little bit sticky actually. A little stickier than normal. So we'll stop right there until it's time to use it. I'd had a little flour and dried up, but I ain't got no more. Okay, you just saw one half of dumplings. Here's the other half. Chicken boiling in a pot. Everybody knows how to do that. And you see how yellow that, that broth is? Well, I'll tell you something. Usually, I cook a lot of chicken for this meal because it's usually for the whole clan, but today it's just me and Janet. So, we are just making a small batch. I'm going to show you what I added to it to give it real good chicken flavor in the broth. All right. I put, well, it's hard to see that, but it's better than bouillon. Probably about two tablespoons in that pot of water. Really works great. Really, really does. Um, that gives the broth a good chicken flavor. Now I'm going to get the chicken out of the pot and get it ready to bake. Now, anybody that knows me or has watched my videos much, they know I like my kitchen gadgets, and right there is one of my favorites. It's a potato peeler. Well, vegetable peeler, I guess. Works slick as it can be. Especially, you know, people who have that carpal tunnel syndrome in their wrist. And... Not only is it quick, pretty safe. Bought that at a kitchen store somewhere down in Flatwoods a long time ago. Works real good, y'all get you one. Just thought I'd throw that little commercial in there. It's a handy dandy little kitchen gadget. 
Okay, you seen how I peeled potatoes. I like to cut the potato in half lengthways and then just cut little um, slices. They cook a lot faster. A lot faster. You can get big chunks of potato, it takes forever to cook. I never make fake potatoes because, quite frankly, I don't know how to make fake potatoes. I have no clue. No clue how to make fake potatoes. Next step, we're going to do the chicken, get it ready for the oven. Okay. Now, I prefer Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue. Um, it just says award winning barbecue sauce. Uh, this one is hickory brown sugar, which I like really well. We like. They didn't have that, so I bought this, and we're going to try it. It's just plain barbecue sauce. I don't know what it'll be like. I think I might have enough of this right here. So. Simple. Simple, simple, simple barbecue chick. Oh, uh, that ain't me with the farts either. That's the bottom. What I do with my little paintbrush? There it is. There it is. Now the reason I boil the chicken before I, you know, barbecue it, is I have chicken broth. Pretty simple idea. So we're just going to paint this. It's not time for it to go in the oven yet. It won't take long because it's already cooked. I just wanted you to see what to do here. So we'll be back shortly. Got to wait on them taters to cook. Well, if I'd been smart and did the potatoes first, I'd pretty much well be done with this here meal. Well, yeah, I wasn't thinking about potatoes. Anyways, we got our chicken ready. You got it boiled for one, oh, about an hour. About an hour, depending on how big they are. That makes them really tender. And then uh, we pulled them out of the pot. And uh, we, you see me barbecue them. That's just the first time. I'll flop them, barbecue the back, flop them again, barbecue the top again. And then it'll be three times, three times. And uh, we can't put the dumplings in yet because the potatoes, Water's not in boiling yet. So let's take a minute. I mentioned West Virginia Citizens Defense League. I said I wouldn't. I might to cut. I might cut. Janet just pulled in, so hold on. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Puppies calm down. Whatever happens on my videos happens on my videos. You know that. But anyway, let's get back to West Virginia Citizens Defense League. I know I said I wouldn't wear my colored version to cook in again because, well, it gets flour and whatnot. But all, however many black ones I have, black and white ones, they're all dirty, so I didn't have no choice, but, but it'll come clean, it'll, it'll wash out. Anyways, this, you know, West Virginia Citizens Fence League, West Virginia's number one, number one, pro-gun rights group in West Virginia. We get a lot of good stuff done. Um, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on uh, on the web, on our web page, West Virginia Citizens Defense League dot something. Um, and you'll find us. Anyways, uh, we'll be back when them potatoes are ever boiled. Oh my goodness. Dummy me. We'll be back. Okay, we are back. Potatoes are done. I've already mashed them. See how nice and yellow that is? Now, I really like that better than bouillon stuff. Gives it a good flavor. To make, make them, just break this up. Just break that ball of stuff up. No big deal. Just chunk it in there. You don't have to worry about how big it is or little it is. Hopefully, see the trick, the trick is not to have too much broth. Like I said earlier, I'm out of flour and I couldn't make no more dumplings. 
I poured a little bit of the broth out. I think we're going to be about right. Did you get the idea? Hold on. Let me finish doing this. Okay, so you saw how I broke that up, put it in there. It was at a pretty good simmer when I started, of course, the cold dough. Slowed the simmer down, but it's coming back up now. So we're going to let that simmer. The chicken is in the oven. Like I said, the potatoes are done. We'll be back. I'll show you something. Okay, so they're simmering. I'm starting around a little bit. You don't have to start very much, just a little bit. But you see, they don't stick to each other. They're not just a great big glob of dough. They don't stick to each other. They're separate. Like that great big one I just pulled up out of there, I'll cut that in half. About that size, you know, you can tell. And you're just going to let that simmer a while. And let them dumplings soak up all that, a lot of that juice anyway. We'll be back. Everybody knows how to make mashed potatoes. I like to throw some of this in there, make it creamier. And I put a half a stick of butter in a pot that big. I think that's a two, two quart pot. So half a stick of butter, stick a little bit of this in, mix it up. Don't get too, too much in there because it'll just be runny. Runny mashed potatoes, yeah. Anyways, put that on there and hold the heat in there because no, the other stuff ain't done. We're gonna get the beans going and we'll be back. All right, let's go over here. Just look at our dumplings. See how they kind of thickened up? They're not as thick as I normally make them. I didn't have enough flour. So the, the gravy is a little bit runny. But, don't look too bad. I could keep boiling them down. But, there you go. That's a nice dumpling. They're done. It's just, like I said, it's just a little bit runny because I didn't quite have enough flour oh look out we're about to crash okay i might get janet to help me with the video here okay we're back everything's done uh what do we do with my mutton my hair my mitten everything's done i don't hold back on the barbecue sauce hope you can see that and of course our dumplings, they cooked a few minutes longer after you seen it. They thickened up a little more. The longer you cook it, the more it's gonna thicken. We're having corn, salt and pepper to taste. Same way with your potatoes, salt and pepper to taste. Pretty easy, pretty good meal. I think I started about an hour and a half ago, but I was very unorganized today. Good Lord Almighty, out of joint. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, the Stout family sure liked it when we catered their daughter's graduation party, which I'm going to uh, tag them in. So they can make this anytime they want. So, hope you enjoy. Try this meal. It's easy. A little bit of work, you know, hour and a half cooking time and prep time and everything. You got to get your, you got to get your rhythm down. I was out of rhythm all day. Anyways, it would have been a lot shorter if I would have started my potatoes sooner. So, remember West Virginia Citizens Defense League, and as always, Trump 2020. Alright guys, enjoy. We're about to enjoy a really good meal here. Have a great evening.